After about four years, darkness lingers again. Everything is darker. Can you find another light at the end of the Dark Odyssey? So, Dark Odyssey. It's a level by Jonathan GD. It's an extreme demon. It's over six minutes long. And I'm going to just check it out in practice mode. I know I did some practice at the duels because those duels are like really difficult and I'd probably just be spending ages on them if I did it without um, doing those duels beforehand and I did like 2000 attempts on the duels and those duels are like really difficult to learn and I'm not like fully consistent at them but I'm just getting to the level and see what happens. Okay so I'm going to be doing this in practice mode here. I don't think I'll use all the variant checkpoints. So I'm gonna have to activate that um, mini low detail mode thing at the beginning. I'm not gonna do the ultra low detail mode. Because like this level has tons of objects so it's kinda laggy. So this part at the beginning, like the first 10% is really easy. Because it's just like you can just click to the music and stuff, and there's like not really any hard timings here. Smiley face on the side is really good. Okay. Alright, here's where it actually kind of gets difficult because of those fireballs. I don't know, I think it'll get consistent with enough time. It's, it's just, you gotta remember where to hold down at. Yeah, sorry if the video might be a bit laggy, that's because I'm in practice mode, and practice mode lag is like really bad when this level is 6 minutes long, over 6 minutes. Okay, this is like a normal, so I should get into like a factory zone or something, I don't really know. But I like the custom background too. Yeah, there's like this play gimmick here, I don't really know how to do it, and I just thought it okay. So, on the bottom area, on the start of this part, it's a, it tells you which of those arrows to press. So, on that one it said to do all three of them right. And then this part here, you just gotta kinda sight read it, go in the green area. And then I just gotta do some new things here. Okay. And this part has like one of the coolest effects I've ever seen in the game. Like, this is really, really cool. Oh yeah, and by the way, whenever I said that, I meant like the effect in full detail mode because the one in low detail mode doesn't like look as good, it still looks good, but like the one in full detail mode is the one that I meant. So this is what it looks like in full detail mode. And yeah, that's the effect which looks really great. Just thought I'd put this in there for clarification. The gameplay in this part isn't that good because it's slopes plus UFO that definitely won't go good together. But the background effect is really cool. So it makes up for the bad gameplay in this part. Oh yeah, I forgot I was supposed to not click on any of those slopes. Okay. Transition over to the start. This transition is like really clean. I like it. Yeah, 
yeah, the effects here are like really impressive in this part. Like, it makes the player go invisible and they're not invisible, and like, there's these lines that go across the screen and whatnot. And uh, I like the glitching effects, it makes the part really fit the atmosphere that it's going for, which is really good. And we're approaching the halfway point. The design in this area is like really, really well made. Oh yeah, sorry about my mouse being loud. I just kind of clicked loud for some reason. Must have been some shit on. I really like the atmosphere of this part. Going a long way since the start. I'm about to reach the duels. I wonder if I'll die a lot at the duels, or might just like get good at the game and then not die at the duels too much in practice mode or in normal mode. Game playing the duels is like really fun after you learn it, but while learning the duels it's like frustrating and stuff because it's like you have no idea what's going on and how you get consistent at and whatnot. But once you do get consistent, it is pretty fun and satisfying to go off. And I forgot that I was supposed to not do that or whatever I did. Okay, after this point is where the level like actually gets really pretty really difficult, you know. And I'm getting some practice mode lag here on this car and actually do some checkpoints. Yeah, it's better. Oh, yeah, it's like these toggle orbs that are hard to see sometimes at the beginning of the portals. I just gotta get good and press those orbs and not die after I press those orbs please. Maybe that'd be good. Oh, no, there was other orbs, okay. Go at 69%. Section like right here at 71 so is extremely difficult. Like this uh, ship part, I have no idea how to do it. I hope it gets consistent, but I wouldn't want to die here too much. And I kind of got lucky and didn't die there too much in practice mode, but I hope it gets consistent with time. Yeah, this actually is like really trippy and makes it hard to see, but it still is like really cool. And it's an easy part too, so the lack of vision doesn't really affect it too much. Oh yeah, the store is cool. I'm uh, gonna see if I can like do the door. Almost did it. I'm just gonna press checkpoint here. I don't think I'll be able to get it in like one uh, start position from like the beginning of the duel to the end of the duel. Yeah, this part right here, like whenever it goes to like 78%, it just bugs sometimes. So I hope I don't die from this bug too much. Either. Maybe it's a lot of bugs. Oh yeah, here's the coolest part of the entire level. Okay, I can't do it 
Yeah, since it's the ship game mode, uh, it gets like lots of practice mode lag and delay. So I'm just gonna hope I don't die here too much. I'm gonna focus here. here is something I can easily choke, so I may die here a few times, I really hope not, but I still can, and the CFO part. And here's this part of the end here. It would really, really suck if I died here. It's like easy, but at the same time, if you have like if you're like really nervous, you could like die here, choke it. Cause you really gotta like focus here to make sure that you don't mess up any of those timings or inputs. Yep, I died there. In fact, it's not. I think this was a normal one of those. And, yep, yeah, that's Dark Odyssey. Practice mode analysis of the level. 170 tenths, 10 minutes, 42 seconds. So, now I'm gonna try and get a few runs on this level and try and beat it, I suppose. So, it'll definitely take a while because this is Extreme Demon, and Extreme Demons take a long time to do so. Yep. Anyways. Yep, yeah, here goes. Okay, so I've gotten pretty consistent at the at the second half of this level. So I think I'm gonna try and do a 52 to 100 run and see how that goes. Hopefully it won't take too long. Alright, so I've been doing Dark Odyssey for about two weeks now, maybe one week, I don't know, but it probably is true. I've got about 7,000 attempts in right now, and I've done two 52 to 100 runs, which is pretty good. And I almost did a 33 to 100 run, but then I, of course, died at the ending part. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this level so far. Like, it's pretty fun. That's great gameplay. Let's see if I can get farther here, and I died, of course, and I'm sick. Okay. Let's go, I'm here to the duels, yeah. You know, I, I don't even care that I died to that bug. I, I I just I'm just happy that I have a new best. Whatever, whatever. This part right here requires laser focus. Like if you blink once here, you did. I really hope I don't die to the ending of this level too much because the death there would be like devastating. It would probably make me like really mad at the level and decrease my overall enjoyment value of it. So yeah usually if you die on a level the problem I mean, usually if you 
Usually if you die on a level, like, really far into it, like, past 80% or something, like, quit a ton of times, like, over and over and over and over non-stop, like, so many times that you just get really unlucky with it, then it would usually decrease the amount of fun you have with the level. In most cases, sometimes people just don't really care if they die far, but I kind of do. But, yeah. I don't really have too large reactions if I die far, but I have a feeling that, like, this level is going to make me really, like, I am to be really intense, so I'd probably, like, overreact, hopefully not, but this overreaction is pretty embarrassing. Right up, right, how do you remember that? Right up, right, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot, I need practice, but I'm not in my mode, so that did not really matter that much. Sometimes I just forget that I'm in practice, not if I'm practicing. I'm in very tech, it's all it is. I'm not really practicing too much for some reason right now. That's probably why I kept on dying to that memory part earlier. Focusing on this level is a really, really important aspect of beating it. You really gotta be aware of what's going on. You don't really have to focus on the first 10%, because so that part's free. I'm glad it's easy because difficult pre jumps are really annoying too. Okay. Laser focus time. I'm not going to all die. Ah. Okay. I wonder if I'll really be able to make it to the boss up here. If they want a 12, 200, that would be funny. It's too hilarious. I'd die of laughter. Actually, I don't know if it's 12%, it's probably like 15%. Okay. Yeah. This part is kind of easy, but if you can easily like die to it if you're not like focusing and stuff. Okay, made it to the duels. Cool. I have a feeling I'm gonna die to a bug here. Whoa! I'm zooming. Go at 69%. No! Funny number. Dying of laughter. Cool effect. Actually, that was, the text was really cool. Okay, I just did the 12 to 76 one. Okay, whatever. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it just happened. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh my goodness, I passed the duels. Okay. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, 76%! What the guacamole! Oh my guacamole, 76%! What? Oh. Whoa. I was not expecting that. Actually, I kind of was because in the beginning of that duel, at 75%, it's just ridiculously difficult. I don't know why, I just. I don't know, my hands were also kind of sweaty, so I just kept on slipping up everywhere. I'm surprised I actually made it that far. What? Okay. I thought for sure I clicked there. Whatever. 
This duel's like ridiculously difficult. Ah, <sighs> whatever. Why did I die there again? I oh my goodness, I need to practice some more. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Well, eighty-five percent.
Okay, so funny thing, um, I beat Dark Odyssey, but my microphone was off, so, whatever. So I'm going to calculate the attempts up here. Also, I will not be rebeating this, because it took too long. 4381 plus 6208 plus 796 plus 49. That is a total of 10,434 attempts. So I really wish my microphone was on whenever I beat Dark Odyssey because my reaction was like crazy. It's one of a kind, I'd say. So, yeah. 10,434 attempts. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you watching this, even if you didn't watch the whole edited part. That's fine. Well, yeah. Dark Odyssey completed. Fifth Extreme Demon. I really liked it, because it's good. And good levels are fun. And bye. So I guess it's kind of like an epilogue with some things I wanted to say after I finished editing the video. So as you already noticed, my microphone is like really, really bad. That is because it's literally a $2 Walmart microphone. Yeah, it's really bad. But luckily, I will be getting a new microphone with the birthday money that I will get, which is coming up soon. And hopefully in the future videos I do like this, they will be much higher quality, and it will come with noise suppression, so, so that it won't make my clicks so darn loud. This is actually the first time I tried making an edited video, besides just replays and death compilations. Like a full on level commentary. And it was fun, so I will likely be doing it again on some other level whenever I get my new microphone. Overall, hopefully, you found some enjoyment out of this, and I will definitely try to fix the volume issues in the next one. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.